This is the Summer Waves pool I got from Walmart. It came with this little filter, so. We are so excited to have you today and it is summer it is the middle of the week so not too much going on and me and Dave have a project Dave's gonna have to work really hard aren't you Dave what the pool go get it I didn't know that go get the pool let's go together how do you think about that you gotta bring it over there you're gonna put it over there oh. yeah we're gonna not sell it on these things I was just kidding it's gonna Break this all out, What's okay, Dave? This is the prep work. This is very important. Eli's. Now it's time to open it. Just do it carefully. Blue. So don't need a knife. That's just the pool. That, that's just the whole pile book. I think Eli thinks he knows how this goes too. Oh! It goes inside of that that tube. And it goes inside. We don't need instructions, do we? Oh, we just figured it out on our own. Um put it all together. You did a pretty good job though. Yeah. There you go, yes. Eli. Surprise. Here are the instructions and we gotta go through this. So this setup is like really easy. Now all we do is add water and put a chlorine tablet in the pump. So if it goes like this, it's really simple. So Dave's gonna start putting water in just a second. You put this. I'll do this. So here we go. Starting to fill up the pool. This is gonna take a while. 
We have well water, so it's gonna take a while. So we got the pool finished and it took us roughly four days to fill, give or take. We did not do it very quickly. We have well water. So yes, we filled an above the ground pool with a well during a drought and we did like an hour filling and then two or three hours off just a little bit every day and lo and behold, the pool filled. This is the Summer Waves pool I got from Walmart. It came with this little filter, so that's really great. I'm gonna tell you, I did have to buy a couple things for it. Number one, we bought this pool skimmer. Yes. They're super happy with it. It was extremely easy to put up. And yeah, you guys are having fun. And we could watch the bunny while we play in it. <laughs> but uh The other thing I bought at Walmart, I bought this kit. It is for smaller pools, so the chlorine tablets are really tiny. No cracking them or anything for the floater. It came with shock to keep it nice and clear, and it also has the test strips. So I have a test kit, and I got the test strips. I would, I've done the test kit before. That's what I've always used, like the classic drops, um, and that's just more cost efficient, but it included it. So you take the little strip, so you take the strip like this, dunk it in the pool, and it will turn colors just so they can tell you if it um, needs chlorine or anything. Uh, I watched a couple of videos and it said that if you just keep two of those little tablets floating in your pool all the time, you should be pretty well set unless it rains and then you gotta throw a little shock in. Um, so we'll see. This is a good baby step for us to see if we can handle a very small pool and keep it from turning green. As of right now, it looks nice and clear, but it's nice and fresh and has fresh chlorine, a good amount of shock to balance it out, and the kids are loving it. So thank you for joining us for this video as we showed you how we got the pool. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell, you'll know when we post. Hope you're holy, happy, and healthy. God, God bless. bless.